Howdy folks, good morning. We're back again at Abang Zaidi's place here in Sri Kembangan. He's moved to a new premises. As you can see, it's a lot bigger, a lot brighter than before, a lot more space. So yes, it's D-Day for the Mitsubishi Galan Super Touring 1.8. She has come to get beautified. There's a lot to do. There's really, really a lot to do. I did that myself. That was a bit of DIY. But as you can see, this car, it's gonna go back to its original color. Mana puteh puteh, mana hitam hitam. That's what I always tell them. Where it's white, paint it white. Where it's black, paint it black. This is the iconic color of the uh, Mitsubishi Galant Super Touring. And this black D pillar here. Sorry, C pillar. A, B, C, yes. C pillar back there. Very, very cool. So now the uh, proprietor is just going through the car to see whether everything's okay. Whoever did a, the paint job on this car previously did a really, really crap job, I gotta admit, because there's tons of overspray here and there. I'll give you a classic example of what overspray is. This is a real pet peeve of mine, yeah? I hate this, absolutely hate this. So they're gonna try and uh, clean up the uh, headlights as well and uh, make her beautiful again. Yeah, so exciting times may we live in. Uh, as you can see over there, I brought the Xiang brought the waja, so we're gonna head back in the waja. But uh, yes, I can't wait to see what this car is gonna look like. If you remember, uh, Abang Zaidi is the one who actually did the uh, Honda Accord CA3 for me, and he did a magnificent job. So here's hoping that he's gonna be able to do a great job on this one as well. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. So yes, a lot of people ask, is this the base model because the bumpers are black? No. Back then, bumpers were made to be bumpers, okay? And yeah, they were supposed to be um, non-body color so that you don't damage your body. And that's what the purpose of a bumper is. But these days, a bumper has become part of the car. Yeah, but no, bumpers were meant to bump. And that's why they were painted a different color. This is not a base spec at all. And there's the lovely 1.8 engine there. So, may we live in exciting times and I can't wait to see what the... Uh, Sifu here can do as well as uh, Abang Zaidi at uh, his new place. I'll leave the, uh, I'll leave the um, address in the description and the phone number so that you can uh, give a call. And yes, good news, I've already gotten, I've already ordered the Mitsubishi Galant front grille. That's, the, that's actually the Sigma grille, you can tell by the Sigma Greek symbol there. But yep, that'll go on after the paint. So, wonderful stuff exciting stuff stay tuned lots more to come very very excited to see how this car turns out because she's done it's just left for the paint take care you all thanks for watching bye good morning folks again so today is another day of sending another car i'm here at ake's place in arada mansara and i have dropped off the saga so the saga of the saga continues today she's going in for paint Sifu, terima kasih banyak banyak. Bikin bye bye ya. <laughs> so, yeah, it's gonna take about a week plus or so. There's a lot to do actually. This whole car is gonna get an outside coat. Uh, good lacquer. Pakai yang lacquer yang baik ya, Sifu. Ah, baik punya lacquer. But she's looking good, and she's gonna look even better. I took this off already because I've got the new ones. They are in the boot. And uh, yeah, so lots to do, lots to do. But it's gonna be wonderful. I reckon the. The car is getting there. The car is getting there for sure. Just give you one last walk around before I say Arrivederci for now to the Saga. Oh, in case you wanted to see what the uh, instrument cluster looks like now, even Chiang commented, it looks a lot better than before. But there she is. Very, very nice. So yes, two cars in one day have gone to a paint shop when it rains it pours it just so happened that uh, both paint shops called me on the same pretty much the same time saying that they're set and ready to bring the car and ready to accept the car so I brought it over both at the same time so yes the Orion grill is gonna go in it's already in the boot I've already told him what to do and then yeah she'll be ready so stay tuned lots more to come so excited to see what this car is gonna look like really once the, of course, I'm going back to the original, the original color, and uh, we'll see what it uh, looks like once it's done. Alrighty then, take care, you all. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back. Bye.
Howdy folks, so I'm back at uh, Star Plus Tech, a tips place. I'm sure you all remember the Volvo. Well, lots of people have been coming over apparently. The rims are still available, but somebody came all the way from up north to get the steering wheel and the uh, instrument cluster. Oh no, sorry, there it is, it's still there. But somebody came and bought the steering wheel and a few other parts. Somebody uh, in, in the comments was actually asking about the seats. If I'm not mistaken, this is a seat cover. So, um, seats underneath could still be okay uh, as is the uh, door switches for the power windows but uh, just in this waja you know, I can't say I'm not tempted to actually take this for mine but you know what I think I'm gonna stick to my clean look on the outside and the twin tips just do a little bit to make it a little bit more sporty but I love the way my waja looks just like this so anyway uh, do a quick walk around before it starts coming down in buckets there's Atip over there hi Atip what's up so if anybody wants some stuff from a Waja yes this car has seen better days but the cool thing is what's under the non-existent bonnet check this out yes oops sorry check that out yep Evo Evo what engine Evo 4 <laughs> Evo 4 engine Damn, so yeah, that's a, that's available. Uh, just do a very quick walk around. There's a very nice, unfortunately beyond economic restoration, CVCC Honda Civic First Gen here, two door, two door with still the Rimbasi and the center caps. Check it out. Check out the center caps. Can you see? It says H and these are metal center caps, yeah. We also got this cute little Toyota. If I'm not mistaken, it's a Toyota also beyond economic restoration so sad though it is a drop the top check out that instrument cluster how cool is that and the ashtray right on top there so nice i wish the you know what if this car had its documents complete which it doesn't it might not be a BER. By the way, BER stands for Beyond Economic Restoration. That's when the cost of doing up a car is actually a lot more than the value of the car. But there's its, uh, that's its rear hatch for the boot. Yeah, as you can see, there's lots of, but this will go here. That. There we go. Those, those lights would be impossible to find. Absolutely impossible to find. We've got an aquarium going on here. But yeah, at one point, this must have been one heck of a nice car to drive. If anybody knows the uh, model, please hit me up in the comments. I'm just guessing it's a Toyota. Because it looks Toyota 800-ish. But it's not a Toyota 800. And in fact, check out the engine. Look at that, carbureted, it's a freaking motorbike engine, boxer twin, look at that, so cool, I wish, I wish this car was still, oh, okay, doesn't like me, but sorry girl, I wish there was a way I could fix you up, but uh, unfortunately, you have no documents, but if anybody needs parts, there are still parts available. There's a 155 here. There's a Ford Telsta here. This 155, I think, was a, there was a sneak preview of it in one of my videos. And somebody immediately called Atip to find out if the wing mirrors were still available, which unfortunately they are not. Um, one whole world, you can't find 155 body parts, uh, wing mirrors anymore. But if you need body parts, here they are. The rims are plug and play for a 155 if anybody's interested. We also got a Kia Carnival here or Nazaria. Kia Carnival, there it is. So the rain's coming down, let me get across. But uh, ooh, I hope that wasn't caused, that wasn't made by a person. I, I hope not, but yeah, it's uh, body parts here. Yeah, this is, this just came in and it looks like the lady of the lake, doesn't it? It looks like it's been sitting under a lake, but it's a Mazda 626. Check that out. Again, beyond economic restoration, but uh, parts still available if anybody wants them. There's a foliage inside the car. There's the meter cluster there. But uh, yeah, this, this one is uh, 
If you remember correctly, scroll down through some of my videos, I actually reviewed one of these cars that was in a uh, used car lot. This is the 2 litre Mazda 6 to 6. Its counterpart, the um, Telstar, is over there. So parts for a Telstar as well, and there's a Toyota Corona here, as well as a Hyundai Sonata. If anybody needs parts, no, that's somebody's car. So yeah, it's coming down pretty heavy. But uh, another day, another part hunt. Why am I here? Because I forgot to get something from that Volvo over there. Basically, I needed the uh, seat belt plastic uh, caps which attach to the top of the seat belt. And they look something like that. So this actually covers the buckle on the top seat belt anchor. And he gave those he gave those to me for free since I made the trip all the way back up here. <laughs> so that's it. Nice cooling rain. It's been raining really heavily, hasn't it, in the last last few days? But uh, yeah, they're stripping a Kambara as well. So if anybody needs Kambara parts, if you have a Purdue Kambara, you can get more parts there. Boleh main? Boleh. So yeah. The stripping continues, but uh, there's the body panels which still look okay. So again, it's sad to see some of these cars uh, ending up this way, but take heart in knowing that a lot of their parts can still be used and are used in, in other cars. For example, the yesterday, the or day before yesterday, the Sev Hao, oh, hello, that is a front grille for a Toyota Crown. I'm very, very sure of it, yep. There's the crown. And so what was saying, yeah, so like when I found all those savvy parts, at least, you know, parts of the, that car will live on in my project savvy. Ooh, bucket seats. Ooh, it's nice. So, there we go, that's it, yeah. Giving a second chance to the parts in cars that are beyond economic restoration, they are BER, yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. I'll update you as I go. Take care, y'all. Bye-bye.